Hello everyone, Pixeled Monk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Mornings End Part 1. This quest is considered master difficulty and long, about 45 minutes to 1 hour. The only enemy you will need to defeat will be a level 11 mourner with all your combat stats reduced to 20 including hit points. The requirements for this quest include 60 ranged, not boostable, 50 thieving boostable using a bandit's brew, spring squirt juice, summer squirt juice, or an autumn squirt juice. Completion of roving elves, big chompy bird hunting, and sheep herder quests. The required items for this quest include one bear fur, two silk, one of each dye, red, yellow, green, and blue, one bucket of water, one feather, one toad crunchies, one magic logs, one leather, not hard, one ogre bellows, and one barrel of naphtha. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you bring Ardoin Teleports, one Falador Teleport, good weapon, super energy potions, anti-poison, and 3200 coins if you don't already have the Teleport Crystal, a way to access Felda Pills using either Felda Pills Teleport, Fairy Rings with the code AKS, or a Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars. Morning's End Part 1 begins in the Ice of Dor Woods with the roving elf Alunid in the southeast portion of the forest. If you receive the Teleport Crystal after the Roving Elves quest, then activate the crystal to teleport to Latua, and skip the video here to begin the next part of the quest. If you have not, then you must teleport to Camelot and take the Charter in Catherby to Port Tyrus. This will cost you 3200 coins. From Port Tyrus, follow the Tyrion 1 map provided. This will lead you through various traps including one leaf pit and two tripwires, so be sure to watch out for these. Once you have reached your destination, talk to Alunid and say yes, I should go see him now. She will then teleport you to the new elven village of Latua. Here you'll get the teleport crystal that will teleport you to Latua up to four times. Make sure you keep this item for later on in the quest. Once in Latua, talk to Arianwyn who is standing right next to you. He'll inform you that the mourners in West Ardone are actually elves and it's your job to discover their evil plot. Spam the spacebar to get through this conversation faster. Once complete, teleport to Ardoin or to Al Karid with a Ring of Dueling and use a glider to go to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. Follow the map on your screen to Arendar, where you will fight a level 11 mourner near the front gate. Once the battle starts, the mourner will throw a potion that will reduce all of your combat stats to 20, including your hit points. After it dies, be sure to pick up the gas mask, mourner top, trousers, boots, gloves, cape, and a mourner letter. Put on the mask, boots, gloves, and cape to free up inventory space, but unfortunately the top needs to be clean of blood and the trousers fixed before you can wear them. First head to Taverly using a Falador teleport and be sure to drop off your weapon and anti-poison as it's no longer needed. Use a map provided to meet Tegid, a druid who is doing his laundry in the lake. Tegid will tell you about his special soap but will not let you borrow it. Instead, you must steal it from the laundry basket beside him. Right-click on the basket and use the search option to get the soap. Use the soap on the bloody mourner top to clean it. Now you can put the top on and drop the soap in empty bucket as you will no longer need them. Next, the trousers have to be fixed. Use the teleport crystal to head back to Latua. Follow the map and talk to the seamstress Orenwin. Ask, do you men close? She will ask for two silk and bear fur to fix the trousers. Talk to her again and say, I have all I need to mend my trousers. You will give her the items necessary and she'll tell you to wait a minute while she fixes them. While you're waiting, you can buy dye from her if you're not confident in hitting the sheep with the gnome device later on in the quest. However, it was very easy as I got each sheep the first try. Eventually talk to Orin Wen again to receive the fixed trousers. At this point, make sure you're wearing all of the mourner gear and teleport to our doin. Follow the map on your screen to West Ardoin to the Mourner's Headquarters building located in the northeast corner of West Ardoin. Use the trap door in the next room leading to the basement. Go south and talk to the Head Mourner. He will tell you that the people need to keep believing in the plague and it is your job to redye the sheep with a nomadic device to make them look sick, but the device has broken down. Answer yes to all three questions. After the conversation, you should receive a tarnished key and a broken device. Use the tarnished key on the iron door in the next room over and talk to the gnome on the torture rack, who says torture doesn't work on him, but he hates his feet being tickled and loves toad crunchies. Spacebar spam this conversation until the end where you must say, 
You said about Toad Crunchies and being tickled. Use the feather on him twice. After this, talk to the gnome again where you will offer him Toad Crunchies if he helps you, but do not use them on him as nothing will happen. Instead, right-click the gnome on a rack and use the release option to free him. The guard will protest but will allow you to do so. Once the gnome is free, the broken device, soft leather, and magic log should disappear from your inventory as a gnome works on them to create a launcher. Wait several seconds and talk to the gnome again to receive the launcher. Now with your dyes and ogre bellows, teleport to Feldup Hills and follow the map to one of the swamps where you will find toads. Use one die with the empty ogre bellows. This should give you the message, you suck the die into the bellows. Click on the bellows in your inventory and use with a toad. You should receive a dyed bloated toad. Repeat this process for each color. If you receive the nothing interesting happens message, then your bellows is full of swamp juice and must be empty to continue. You should now have red, yellow, green, and blue toads. Teleport back to Ardoin and follow the map to the north of Ardoin to the sheep that need to be dyed. These are the same sheep from the Sheep Herder quest. Once there, use one of the toads on the launcher to load it. Then wield the launcher and keep in mind to fire the respective color on the correct sheep. You can examine the sheep to determine what color they are. Go into your combat settings and choose the aim and fire option. Move the arrows to lock in your sheep and click on the red button to fire. If you are successful, you will notice that the sheep will be a darker color than before. Once all the sheep have been dyed, unwield your launcher and head back to the head mourner in the mourner headquarters. Talk to the head mourner who will tell you to make a non-lethal version of the plague to give to the citizens. Spacebar spam this conversation. Head outside just northwest of the headquarters to find a rotten apple on the ground in between the building just west and the hanging laundry. Pick it up, then follow the map to Elena in northern Ardone who will tell you how to make the potion necessary. Spacebar spam this conversation as it's quite long. Afterwards, talk to her again and give her the rotten apple. Wait about a minute or two while she makes a small sample of the poison and talk to Elena again. She will then give you a sieve. Follow the map to the apple orchard just southeast of the tree gnome stronghold and pick up a barrel. Use the empty barrel on the pile of rotten apples next to you then use the barrel of rotten apples on the apple press to mash them. Use your barrel of naphtha on the apple barrel to create naphtha apple barrel. Use the sieve on the apple barrel to strain it and to create toxic naphtha. Teleport back to Ardoin to use a toxic naphtha barrel on a range which is located just southwest of the market. Note, a fire will not work for this step. The mixture should evaporate leaving you with two toxic powders. Head back to West Ardoin and use the map provided to put one toxic powder in the grain sack in the church and then another in the building just north of the manhole. Go back to the head mourner to complete your quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 25,000 hit points experience, 25,000 thieving experience. This will now give you access to mornings and part two. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.